we do around a billion dollars of revenue every single year. Healthcare is one of the largest segments of our business. So we do hundreds of thousands of trips every single week within the healthcare ecosystem. We're growing around 17x year over year. So the growth of this whole industry is just phenomenal. And to me, if you think about all the patients that we're serving and the hundreds of thousands of lives we're impacting every single week, to me, that's just a really exciting opportunity to really solve some real significant problems. If you think about all the good work we've been doing as an industry over the past two decades of automating and optimizing healthcare from electronic medical records to population health management systems to incorporating genetic information into the personal health record, we still fundamentally haven't disrupted healthcare. It's my belief and MD Live's belief that telehealth represents the first real opportunity we've had in a long time to disrupt uh, healthcare. But in order to do that, we have to start by reimagining um, what healthcare should be like from the consumer perspective. And while I think it's been led by the payers, employers, and government, as consumer demand grows, it's going to shift where consumers are going to start to drive the demand. There's the myth that AI and machine learning should take over or will take over healthcare. And I don't think that's the case. I think we focus so much in what AI and machine learning will take away from the provider or from the patient when we should really be talking about how can we use AI and, and machine learning to improve the process and to help the workflow so that people can focus on the relationship. So I think on the partnership side, you know, there, there's three things that really matter. I mean, the first is you have to focus on the strength of what each other do. And, you know, when you do that, I think you find the best. You kind of find that intersection of what a great partner does and what it is you do really well. And that's the magic of partnership. I think the second thing is, can you align with your value system? Are your companies aligned just from a core value standpoint? And the third is, you know, can you actually elevate each other's brands? You know, we look for partnerships and we've been very successful, particularly in the technology space because of our app communities of elevating both brands uh, in those partnerships and creating, you know, I would say exponential value. Uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about Amazon and other technologies coming in and saving us because we can't figure it out ourselves. So maybe these smart people can figure it out because we can't. Uh, I don't think that's right. I think that there'll be uh, helpful allies in that, but at the end of the day, it's going to be the healthcare system itself that's going to have to figure out the best way to use it. Having the intelligence to come in and, and look at all that data and try to find some themes in that, and I think that's where technology and legacy, the legacy industry should be able to come together and be able to make sense of that information so that people can act on it. In the market space, I think digital becomes a competitive advantage because it can be used to solve problems. So if I'm a health plan and I have to build a network and there's just not enough capacity for the need. We can use digital to fill those spaces, whether through telemedicine or text therapy or whatever it might be while an individual is waiting for their face-to-face -face appointment if that's ultimately what they need. <music>